Good morning, guys. We got it. Shut off. The breaker shut off. So now we're running off the sun. Uh, now the sun is going back in. It was just up to like 27 amps. We fell back to 16. Uh, battery sitting at 55.6. Uh, let's see what the loads are. Two hundred and seventy, thirteen, fifteen percent, a hundred and five, five percent. Eighty seven volts, three hundred and eighty eight watts on bank two, eighty six volts, five hundred watts. On one, we got zero amps coming out of the battery, We're sitting at fifty five point five volts now because the sun didn't drop back. Um, let's go out and see what it looked like outside. And then we'll do a more in-depth video when I get home this evening. All right, hold on. All right, I'm outside. We're looking at the meter. There's no movement on the meter because I cut the breaker back off last night at about 1 o'clock. The battery was charged to 57 volts. And... That's the highest it'll let it charge on the grid is to 57 volts. So, no moving on here. Uh, tomorrow, we will get how many kilowatts I used out of the grid uh, last night charging the batteries. We'll know that tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, at least I know how much power it takes to charge the battery from uh, empty to 57 volts so as you can see the sun is rising and a uh, little cloud cover other than that that's back south that way the big tree that's back west. So let's take a look at the panels. There we go. Got sun all on the back of the house. Now someone asked me in the comment section why did the inverter shut down. It's because we reached our 40 volts. The inverter will shut down at 40 volts. Once the battery drops to there, no more power. That's why on my spreadsheet, I have a zero power at 40 volts because I know once I hit 40, no matter how much power is in the battery, it's going to shut down. I still have power left as usable, but at 40 volts, that's it with the inverter. And I'll...